Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video I'm going to be going through everything you need to know in order to start recording or live streaming Minecraft. All you need for this tutorial is OBS Studio and the Stream Elements website. Okay, so now that we are in OBS, I want to explain a couple tabs. So first of all, we have Profile. And basically what this does is that it allows you to have multiple different profiles with each having completely different settings. For example, I have my main YouTube channel, my second YouTube channel, and my Twitch account. And so now if I go into the Settings tab and go to Stream, for example, I can see that I have my main channel link over here but if i go to twitch for example and go to settings again then stream we can see i have my twitch over here next we have scene collections and basically what this tab does it allows you to have multiple scenes with different settings completely so again we can see i have my recording scene my main channel streaming scene my second channel streaming scene and my twitch channel streaming scene we can see if i go for example to the main streaming scene this at the bottom changes and now we can see i have all my be right back and other stuff but obviously i don't need these sources for recording so i have a separate recording scene collection which allows me to have only the sources i want for recording only hey there Wait a second. This video is sponsored by Pixelmart, the ultimate Discord server for all your creative and business needs. Whether you're looking to find skilled freelancers or connect with potential clients, Pixelmart has got you covered. Also, it's not just a marketplace, it's a community. Even if you need resources to level up your work or honest feedback to improve on your projects, Pixelmart is the perfect spot to collaborate and grow. So what are you waiting for? Join Pixelmart today with the link in my description. Alright, let's get back to the video. So next up, I'm gonna explain what scenes actually are. So basically, scenes are a collection of different sources. For example, I have my main scene right here with my my alerts, my camera, my chat, and my tip goal. And then I have my be right back scene, which only has my be right back screen, my alerts, and my chat. And last but not least, we have sources. There are multiple of different sources. For example, an image or a video capture device, which is a webcam usually, or text, and a lot more. You can add sources from the plus icon and delete them with a trash bin. And this goes for scenes as well. So what scenes and sources do I have? I'm gonna show you every single one that I use. So first off, we have the screen, which is actually just the display capture. And that's just basically what you're seeing. And then and I just have my webcam and a background for that webcam which gives it a little bit of shadow and then I have another scene with just my webcam as you can see right here and that's it for recording so now that you have your scenes and sources ready you're gonna need the best settings for you unfortunately my PC and your PC is gonna be way different so obviously not all of my settings will work with your PC so I'm just gonna show you what the best settings for OBS for me are so let's go over here to settings here are the general settings here are the appearance settings. Here are the stream settings for my main account because I'm on my main profile as you can see. Here are my streaming settings for my main YouTube account. Please note that YouTube streaming and Twitch streaming are very different. So stay tuned if you want to see my Twitch settings. But for now, here are my recording settings. My audio settings. And my replay buffer settings. And here are my general audio settings my general video settings, my hotkeys, my accessibility settings, and last but not least, my advanced settings. Now let's check out my streaming scene collection. These three are basically the same, but they just have different alerts. So I'm just gonna be going only through this one. So here, of course, I have my screen again, my background for my chat, camera, and tip goal, which I all have in a folder, so I can easily move them wherever I want to. Also, for example, if you moved something and you wanted to put it back, all you have to do to undo is press Control Z, and then I have my alerts. And this is all just for my main scene. Then I have my be right back scene, my stream starting soon scene, my stream ending soon scene, and my webcam scene, which again, I. Have my full webcam on and also when i want to start streaming on youtube i go over here to manage broadcast go over to select existing broadcast press open youtube studio then press create go live edit all my settings in here then go back to obs close this press manage broadcast again go over to select existing broadcast again then press it and then select broadcast and then i just click start streaming all right so now let me show you my twitch streaming settings so let me go over here to profile and switch to my twitch profile and go to my settings output and here are my streaming settings for twitch and last but not least, here are the settings on my mic. So go over here to audio mixer, press the three dots, filters, and then here are my settings. And also here are my general audio mixer settings. Alright, so now we're done with OBS, let's go to the Stream Elements website, make sure to sign up, then once you're logged in, just press Dashboard, press Streaming Tools and Overlays. To make a new overlay, all you have to do is press New Overlay, press Start, press Add Widget, and choose whatever you want. What I have for my own streams are Alerts, and also here in Stream Tools, my Stream Chat, which I have two of, and they are the Normal Chat and the Full Screen Chat. And also I have my Tip Goal, which is found in Labels, Tips, Goals, and Tip Goal. Again, on here you can have multiple profiles, which I do, I have one for my main channel, my second channel, and my Twitch channel, but all of them basically 
basically are the same. So I'm only going to be showing you my settings on these four on my main channel. So let's start with my alerts. And here in the settings, all these I've basically set up the same. So I'm only going to be showing you my tip alert. Here is the position. Here are the general settings, the variation settings, the text to speech settings, the test settings, the advanced text settings and the animation settings. Next, we have my tip goal, which obviously is optional, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway. Here are the general settings, the position settings, the text settings, and the advanced text settings. Next up is my chat, which I have set up to go right here in this box, along with my tip goal and my camera. Here's the general settings, here's the position settings, here are the text settings. And last but not least, I have my full chat, which I use for my webcam scene. Here are the general settings, here are the position settings, and here are the text settings. And also, if you wanna make a cool tipping page like me, you can do it here in revenue and then tipping settings. Here are the tipping settings for my main YouTube channel, the payment providers, the page settings, the design, the tip panel setup, the tip moderation. And before I end the video, I want to thank my YouTube members to Cosma and Quicksilver. If you also want to become a member, all you have to do is press the join button below the video. It really helps me out a ton. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And on the screen right now, I have two more OBS videos I made, which go over how I made my custom alerts and how I made my custom live stream scenes. See you later and God bless you.